Quacky is a, a school that brings together high achieving, like minded students. It's built on, on a number of pillars. It's built on being clever, creative and global. So it looks at being an international curriculum through the International Baccalaureate that positions our students to be part of a future world. But it really focuses on those students that have a passion and talent in the creative areas. So, and they also have academic ability and a very strong academic ability. So that's what Quacky is. It's a school that brings together those types of students. So what makes Quacky the learning environment of choice is um, this open-mindedness approach to education, an environment that we call earned autonomy. It also is, it's a choice because it, it does bring creative like minds together. And so students get to interact and collaborate with people that share similar interests to them and think similarly to them. And therefore they feel very comfortable and can show the, the me behind the mask. And so that combination of like-mindedness, a rigorous academic curriculum and some amazing opportunities, I think is why it is a, a choice. And most students who attend Quacky are the drivers of that choice. So if we talk about what Quacky is, we talk about Quacky's DNA, the what of Quacky. And the what of Quacky is based on, on three words, clever, creative, and global. Clever means a rigorous academic curriculum, which is what we do through the International Baccalaureate. It also means being digitally clever. So digital immersion and meeting students at where they're working at in the digital world. Creative means, yes, a developing artistic practice and excellence in their artistic practice. But it's also about the broader creative industries, so the economics and the enterprise behind creativity. And global is, is that our students see themselves as part of the world. I certainly believe that they're going to work all over the world, either physically or certainly virtually. So the global is connecting students through their education with, with the rest of the world and, and not having them as an isolated school in Brisbane, Australia. So the clever, creative, global is our DNA. It's all three, it's not one of those three. And that, so that's the nature of the student who comes to Quacky, who wants to embrace those, those things. So if clever, creative, global is the, the DNA, the what of Quacky, the other really important component is the how of Quacky. And the how of Quacky, we talk about our four highs. High expectation, high challenge, high care, high collaboration. High challenge is that is why students come to Quacky. They want to challenge, they want to grow, and I believe growth comes through challenge. High expectation is the way we want to operate. Having high expectations of each other and high, most importantly, high expectation of self. But when you have a high challenging environment and an environment of high expectation, that's not enough. You need support measures to support people who are operating in that environment. So Quacky is very much a very caring environment and we put a lot of emphasis on relationships and caring and support. But the nature of our students in the creative industries and their like-mindedness is it's a very collaborative environment. One of the most powerful things about this academy is how students work together. Their biggest asset is each other. And Quacky is an environment of high collaboration. Our curriculum, the International Baccalaureate, doesn't end up with a, a final score that's based on a rank order where students are competing with each other. It's based on merit. And so students can work together and collaborate to be the best they can be. So our earned autonomy framework is based on, on four character ideals. Respect, responsibility, honesty and trustworthiness, and understanding, inclusion and tolerance. Everything we do or our judgments we made are based on those four principles. And so we develop students over their three years with us under that principle of earned autonomy where their autonomy increases based on the responsibility, the outcomes they show of being able to operate in that environment. So that's a really important learning environment and it's one that we start establishing from the moment the students arrive.
And when we, through the selection process, we're looking to see if a student can operate within that environment or has the potential to operate in this environment. And in most cases, students are just itching to be part of such an environment. The locker story is a, a really good symbol of the four, one of our four character ideals of, of trust. And it's something that the students took ownership with in the development of Quacky. When we were in a temporary building in the first year of, of Quacky, uh, the lockers arrived. And students who are creative students have a lot of stuff and need somewhere to store. And they arrived about a month into our, our life. And I handed out the keys and the next day 10 students met me at my office and said that handing out the keys to the locker was a direct contradiction of what we were aspiring to in our character ideals about honesty and trustworthy. And they said to me, Mr. Jose, if we're creating an environment of honesty and trustworthiness, which is most importantly that we have with each other, then we should never have to lock our lockers. So on that day, they asked me to give back their keys. And they couldn't because the doors wouldn't stay closed. But from that day on, um, a locker is never locked in this academy. And that's a symbol of the broader trust that is innate between students.